Okay, so do your segali. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And of course, this is Vibe on EP Radio. And wherever you're picking the signal, never forget it's Vibe on EP Radio. Of course, let's get connect on www.ep urban radio. And if you're girl in Taiwan, must I do your shaggily? I mean, life is too short. Let's have some fun together. Yes, 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 let's stay connect. Do your shaggily. And of course, we're also live on EP Urban Radio on Facebook. You can also get us on www.ep.eporbanradio slash, I mean www.ep-radio.com. Of course, I am the lady with a Steve on my hand. And of all, oh, I mean, I have a map that I can control. This is what I do, yeah? Yes, 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 flashing all the story for you. Let's get, keep and connect. Yes. I mean, I keep asking you, how was your day? I mean, it's really, really Saturday, beautiful afternoon. Of course, it's exactly 3.42 p.m. Where are you going? And where's the party at? Of course, we have to party life as too short. And of course, I am the sexy chihuahua. You know how we do it every Saturday. Of course, we give you what you want. And this is what I'm best at doing. Getting you all the juicy in the world of entertainment. Yes, yes. I get a man that I can control. And I call myself the Cocon Sensual. So get connect. And let's have fun today because it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And yes, 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 have a your day. And I always have one thing to tell you. Keep praying. Of course, sujud is a love story no one understands. And of course, those who pray, do you know what I'm saying? So if you know, you know. Is life really all about money? <laughs> I think I don't share the same sentiment, you know. Of course, this song is coming from Too Young, exclusive. I don't know why everybody is singing about, I mean, money, money, and then rapping about money. I mean, it's high time, yeah? Let's talk about society, what is going on, and what really needs to be checked. Yes, yes, this is the Saturday vibe, only on Vibe on EP Radio, in the studio of Condo Club 10. Let's get connect. And of course, a very happy birthday to MTN. Not your MTN network, yeah? <laughs> so this is MTN Michael Tetanati. A very, very happy birthday. And of course, all November bonds rock. And wherever you pick in the sick now, we are still vibing on Vibe on EP Radio. And don't forget, the name is Shawal. So on that note, let's keep connect. And enjoy the song. Of course, Stranger in my own line from Stranger. He calls it Stranger in my own line. I love this song for a reason. I mean, how do you be a stranger in your own line? 
it is what it is. <laughs> We're still vibing, yeah? A Saturday. Salsa Hills keep lock. And let's have the dance. Of course, in less than an hour or just a minute time, I'll be telling you what is trending. Of course, in the news, in the world of entertainment. Just call me the Concursa Girl. Because I give you all the juicy, the favorites, and your celeb. So we don't let the chips and clips the love and passion we got for the game. Y'all better recognize this. Put the role, never run play in your life. If they ain't not enough, never let them subtract. They can first doubt you, then despise you. Let us fly, make your success through the clock. That's right with me. My life must be a blunder. Fingers pointed at me. My pride, my dreams are shattered. Darkness is all I can see. Okay, so let's talk about what makes the world of entertainment. Of course, we talk, I mean, we're going to talk about the headlines. Yes, some interesting headlines, you know. Yes, yes, yes. We are still vibing. And if you're just tuning or you're just watching, it's still vibe on EP Radio. And my name is Shawal. So don't get it twisted. It's not Shawama. Yes, yes, yes. Climax of that story is untold, so never act like you know you're still a John Snow. If I don't get killed or make me self destruct, I wouldn't hesitate to continue this episode. So, the new song featuring Davido, which is um, Kwame Eugene featuring Davido, and then he names it Meji Meji. I don't know, for some reason, social media, I mean, social users are really bashing hard on the song. And they say it's the wax song ever. Or should I say the worst collaboration ever? This is not coming from me, it's coming from social media users, you know? <laughs> so whatever it is, we are going to discuss into details. And of course, I have one strong guy here with me, and we are just going to discuss issues by issues. You know how we say it? The Concursa Girl. And yes, 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 marriage certificate of Giant's wife and alleged husband has just popped up. I'm going to tell you more about that, so stay connected and let's have fun. And in Nigeria, guess who has just joined the politics? Of course, it's Banky W, who is joining the politics in 2019. Yeah, for some reason, all the music artists want to join politics. And of course, the actors and the actresses. What is going on, yeah? Should we also join the politics? I mean, everyone says, come on, it's, it's so nice to have powers, you know? So stay connected, we will still be coming up your way, and I'll be giving you more details of that, so stay tuned. So baby girl, please don't go. Coming from Ken Enam. Of course, those who knows him very well knows he's also a product of EP Radio. At least he passed by EP Radio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so big up to my man, Ken Enam. Of course, how are you doing? And still on the birthday list, a happy birthday to all the November bonds, especially on the 17th of November. Of course, happy birthday to you, MTN. Everywhere you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
so yes 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 Kwame Yujin has released a brand new single and a video title Wallahi which quickly following up his previous single his collaboration with Davido yes Davido in Nigeria so uh, Major Major that's, that's the title of the um, song and then um, the Love Blood was produced by Kwame Yujin himself and the video was directed by Rex Omar so on that note enjoy the video Wallahi and let's get it connected enjoy <laughs> Okay, so that song coming from Kwame Eugene Wallahi, which is a beautiful song with that. So um, today, yes, 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 today, I have one strange guy with me. Should I call him strange? Because everybody calls him the romantic rasta. You can choose to call him the pain, pain police. I don't know, for some reason, yeah? <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to introduce my guest who's going to help me go into details of the stories, making headlines during the week, yes. So um, I'm introducing my guest, a beautiful guy, yeah. Hello, yeah. Mr. Sure, what's up? I'm okay, what's up with you? It's I mean, so should I say it's been a while? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. Mm, we've so, been uh, running around. Oh, uh, what's that? Work, yeah. you know? Yeah, lots of things these days. <laughs> exactly, I mean, if you don't work, you're not going to eat. Yeah, you work I mean, a little bit, you play somehow. Absolutely. Exactly. So, basically, we are, um, we are on Kwame Yuja's story, which is uh, Major Maje. For some reason, I don't know. So, um, we are going straight to the previous single, Kwame Yuja, in collaborating with Davido, which is titled Major Maje. 
Now, this new song has got a lot of social media users blasting on the artist, saying it's the worst color ball ever, or you can say that it's the best featuring song ever. For some reason, I don't know, but we are going to um, listen to the, the, the video, but I just want you to give me your thoughts about that first before we go details into the video, then we talk about it more. Well, I, myself, when I heard a song, uh, there was something I, I realized, which was, the video is becoming too one way. Too one and way. I'm not surprised people are bashing at him because uh, it looks like every time it will be Ferrari, uh, Thunder Fire, mi million dollars, million dollars, that kind million of thing. dollars, <laughs> you know, thirty billion. All of I these mean, things. I mean, we need we need you change, know, yeah. Thunder Fire, uh, maybe like uh, Banana Fall on You. Oh, but you that, that that is a good song. But I'm following you. Know, you. Like, what, what we we could mean? we could vibe with it, you no, know. <laughs> to, to me, I feel he is losing it. Even okay. though he has the powerhouse, he's got the resource. Okay. You know, he has the market, he has the fan base, okay. he has the followers and everything. It, fine, people may love it, but if you come into the lyrical contest, you know that no, the video is losing it. And <laughs> not, if you look at the songs Risk Kid is doing, mm -hmm. and then you look at the songs Kwam Eugene. Kitty and co are doing. They ask it's yourself, what is the video doing? doing? Yeah. You know, so I think there is a reason to it, and maybe if you might come to some of the yeah. things people are saying, then I we'll will. come back to it. Then we'll come back to I also early. give my final. Judgment. Okay, so uh, I'm on that note. We're gonna play um the video of the song. So the song which has a video. So for um those who are watching us, sick, we're gonna play the video, and those who are listening to us, we're gonna play the audio. So. It's either way you're going to enjoy the song. So on that note, we're going to play a song that is a major major that is a new single of Kwame Eugene featuring Davido. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, so that song was coming, I mean, it's Kwame Yujin featuring Davido, which calls Major Major. I mean, for some reason, social users are bashing on the song, saying it's the worst song ever, and then I kind of think the song is a bit okay, I don't know, but hey, that's why Mr. Kiss here. We're going to talk about it, yeah? Why, why wouldn't they bash them? Okay. You know, it, it's funny. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder, is uh, Davido the new ambassador for Ferrari and Gucci? <laughs> well, it seems like now, every time he sings it, Ferrari and Gucci, Ferrari yeah, and Gucci. Yeah, so I've the noticed is, that thing too. <coughs> where is his talent? Okay. Where is his? Where is the lyrics gone? Where is that uh, Skelly lyrics gone to? Where is uh, you know those uh, you know uh, all of those lyrics that he want he used to be singing uh, okay. like Aye, mm -hmm. you know all those lyrics where he could sing along the song for a period of time, you know, with different feel of the of the lyrical. Progress, okay. you know what I mean. But now you look at the song, then you see Kwan Eugene has taken the song serious and he's singing it well. Yeah. Then the video is just, I will do this for you, baby. I will do this for you, for baby. I will buy Gucci for you, baby. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know. Perhaps that was his part of the song. But the question is, should your part of the song always be about what you have and what you can do and what you know what I mean? Yeah. Now the issue is. Now, Ochiangu Kwame has stepped in and he's yeah, saying, he's saying um, Kiri Kwame Eugene are better singers than, than Davido, Davido and risk it. Why? Because of these things. But they have the market, they have the flow, they have the, they have the money, they have the it's, resources. It's, it's because they started it from a, a, a solid ground. You yeah. know, it's, it's very difficult to start from a solid ground and you get a loyal, uh, I mean, fans, and then all of a sudden they just pff, take if, it from you. Imagine. But, but because he has this strong people, behind him for some reason he's still staying relevant in imagine, the music industry imagine uh a kim promise or Mugi sing a song like this yeah the way the video is singing it mm -hmm. Ghanaians will start bashing them straight up that what is happening to Mugi? yeah what is happening to kim promise what is happening to kwame yuji so you realize kwame yuji took his part serious but the video was just having fun with a song yeah like I, I i can relate with kwame yuji's own it felt very great yeah, and strong it was deep. now it was the deep. question is would the video keep doing this for a long time because he has the following if, and if, the if he should keep be... doing it for this same thing a long time i think he's going to drop out and the issue is would he lose fans in ghana exactly and then nigerians will keep going with him or he's going to lose fans in ghana and nigeria if he keeps doing songs mm -hmm. like this imagine patapa did this song if Pastor Pat did this song, people were still going to talk about it. And if it's going to be worse, because he's he he's not talented at all. Exactly. Even with his killing thing, killing thing, <laughs> yeah, they will still find I know, way. right? Oh, yeah, with that song, I'm like, I, I listen to that song and like, okay, let's give it to And even if you check out the mixing of the song, mm -hmm. you realize that some part of it is very noisy. You, there's a lot of noise in it when they are trying to use the effect of the thunder, and mm -hmm. all of those things in it you realize that sometimes it, there are gaps in, in the delivery okay. so you see uh, there, there are a lot of back ends here and there so in general the song is good it's pleasant to the ear it's a highlight song it's it's beautiful but then the question is is it that solid enough to be one of the best collaborations ever. that have ever come out even in ghana alone Sarkodie has a collaboration with Kim Promise and mm -hmm. uh, never let you go. Exactly. Uh, Tic Tac has a coll collaboration with the same Kwame Eugene, uh, Kwani Kwani Part 2. And you realize that Charlie, these are deep vibes, <laughs> deep tunes. Wherever it will go, it will still make impact. Are those songs going to be the songs that will be carried off Ghana to make the best market, like to create the best musical market for us? Or will be making the video do some of these things for us to show that oh he has the following yeah. he's trying to put Kwame Eugene there you f if you are putting someone there put him with your best well I, I feel like Kwame Eugene is already there because yes Kwame like Eugene is there so but hard. you see he's not there like the video yeah Kwame Eugene is not where the video is not close to because if you look at the level the video has gone Kwame Yuji is here to get there. You know, you, you know, it's understandable in a sense that Kwame has just come into the system. The video has been in the system for a exactly. very long time. And I'm saying if you are putting someone there, yeah. do it like Wizkid did for Mr. Easy. Do you understand? Yeah. Do it like Wizkid did with our 2 bs You know, when you are putting someone there, put them there with the strongest material you can 
you yeah. can have so that when people from the other side listen to it they can see it as this person deserves the opportunity sure. but if you are putting something ordinary because so you are just having fun the serious people who are music people will not i mean people were listening like okay the song is this way whilst you will feel satisfactory about you the song and the sound too many critics into, into a development you yeah. understand too many too much critic the margin of error should be very low exactly so i think the video they might have gotten a collaboration together but it just didn't live up to to expectation I, I think okay so. so let's read some comment coming from social media as m is to precise and um, facebook <laughs> so um i have this coming from kobe skill he says that um Tete, um, Tete four, Kwame Eugene Fisher and David Dun. Tete four, oh, Charlie. That's how, that's what how, uh, what uh, does that mean? I, think, no, I don't. I, it's not. It's not too cool. Oh, okay. Then, for, then, uh, then, then, then I don't want to know that. But the thing yeah. is, the thing is, I think Patapa dissed Kwame Eugene yeah. with that word. With that word. Oh, okay. So and, the, yeah, so, so so Kobe Skill say um, Tete four. Because if it comes into English, then it becomes something, something else. more okay. dangerous. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's get into the comment section where um, Kobe Skill says um, Tete four right yeah okay i think i have a problem with that way and i'm going to do that way too so he's saying to tap for kwame using featuring that video most on i mean most useless of most useless song of the year like seriously and i think for my end i remember somebody also saying a media person a very strong media person yeah criticizing the video and saying that is the video going to spare us that 30 billion exactly 30, uh, <laughs> i don't know no, yeah ferrari gucci kind of lyrics well, if you look at four fall if you look at if if you look at assurance if you, all those songs these days are okay. becoming very ordinary and yeah. they, are, they are following the same style and same train and from it's, the it's, same it's, be, it's becoming boring because when you keep feeding us with the same food all the but time you look we at get people like our two beasts you look at song like with a vibe you look like song i love that song with a vibe you see, you see that there is a twist even exactly this kid, yeah this kid has you know you look at songs like uh uh, the one he did with Tiwa Savage, uh, Malo, mm -hmm. you know, Malo, and all those songs, you realize that there are different feels, you know, from Baba in La to Malo and okay. all those songs, Ojua Luba and all those songs, you realize that he is changing his trends, you know, he has a song with the uh, Vibes Cartel, yeah. going to the top, and you realize that the guy is developing, developing. A, a certain kind of beat, he feels the Afro beat with okay. some authenticity. And Drake and Co are using it these days to make money. Exactly. So the question is, would the video spare us that kind of uh, <laughs> thirty billion? Okay. So the question things? is, would the video spare us with this thirty billion? I mean, <laughs> all the uh, with this Ferrari, Ferrari and, Gucci. and then Gucci. Why would he say I mean, Kantaka? Kantaka, <laughs> Kantaka, 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 Kantaka is in Ghana here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he is trying to um, promote the international Ghanian, style. Ghanian, Ghanian, well, do they give him money for it? I don't know, but I'm, I'm sure they don't do it. Okay, so let's go to this one. So Samuel quickly says. Um, Kwame Eugene is resting with a collabo with I mean collabo this year. He should relax. Do you think um, Kwame Eugene is really rushing to do this collaboration with? No, um, no, no, it's good. That video. Collaborations are good. I think collaborations are even Sarkozy has biggest success in music was a collaboration with Adam yeah. and Kwakesi because that time Kwakesi was the biggest and Adam was one of the most biggest prospect and Sarkozy was also coming in. So Sarkozy teaming up with Adam around the same period and Kwakesi stepping in made it a little bit heavier. And a lot of times people get this opportunity to collaboration, Kel songs and Sarkozy breakthrough. Yeah. Uh, if you watch uh, Kwame Eugene who had the opportunity working with Miss V around her peak and all of those things, collaborations are good. It doesn't matter the number of collaborations, but imagine you are killing all your collaborations and they are dope tunes. Yeah. What happens? So you st before. people will stop collaborating with you at the end of the day. No, people can't stop collaborating with Kwame Eugene. No, I'm talking about um, if people keep collaborating with um, that video kind of style, mm -hmm. because I feel like Kwame Eugene delivered very well. But what killed the song was um, that video's part. But, but I, I feel like there was no vibe. You see, sometimes you don't look at the collaboration as the song, but you look at the collaboration as the branding and the marketing. Okay, but it's an opportunity. Chatawale got into Nigeria to perform on the xylophone show launch in Nigeria. And you know what happened? Nobody was minding him. Yeah. All the crowd were not paying attention to Chatawale when he was performing. 
he felt very very uncomfortable then this song came hosanna 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 and then when that boy stepped to the stage and then the whole crowd mm-hmm. just jumped off and like they were on their feet and they were screaming but and now the scream will surely affect the performance of, of shatawali positively exactly. being that now the crowd is there so you can run around with uh Benna boy and get some good you know euphoria and build your your, your performance on it so yeah. it's it's good yeah it's good so tomorrow if uh, uh, uh what's the name of the gentleman kwam yujin gets the opportunity of on being on a show in nigeria people what, the, people what then happens is if people don't know the song and then the video decides that you will come in to introduce Kwame Yuji, then you could imagine what will happen with this with song. Crowd, yeah. As well. So collaborations, it doesn't matter the number of times, but it should be the right songs. And the right people. And the right people. Exactly. So, so I don't, so, I don't so, side with that person okay. saying Kwame Yuji is rushing the collaboration. No, okay, so if this opportunity may not come tomorrow. Exactly. Maybe by so, tomorrow, Kwame Yuji will then, not be relevant. Well, well I, 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 believe, I believe opportunity um, comes from one that doesn't really work with me because I feel like we have much opportunities, but we just have to utilize them. Sometimes it counts once because the video has called you for a collaboration. It. This is the case. The video has called Kitty for a collaboration and Kitty had the opportunity of being in an international award with the video and co because they were thinking Kitty was a Nigerian. You understand? So this Kitty is or Eugene? Kitty. Oh, okay. Kitty, that was uh, the, 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 the remix of the uh, Odo. Yeah. Me, I get 30 million. Okay. The remix. Okay. So he was on it with Mayokon. Oh, Mayokon. Okay. Now, he, Kwam Eugene's opportunity is coming. And then he said, Oh, people are saying I'm doing too much collaboration, so I'm not going to take a collaboration with the video. Then the next thing is Kwam Eugene. Now you are not relevant again. Yeah. And the video wouldn't want to work to with an artist. With it's not relevant. Exactly. So um, this was also coming from Nash Ortin, who says, "I swear that song they bore me wrong. I don't know for some reason why it's boring you, but I think somehow there was a bit sense in the song. So let's oh, be so you saw that one too mm-hmm. from Nash Ortin. I saw it Nash on my timeline. He said that song they bore him. Nash Ortin is a very big uh, guy in the industry. Okay. So you could imagine Nash Ortin accusing, uh, like bashing this song. Though you should know that at least it's a it's it's a divided opinion on the truth, exactly. which is not right." But but I mean the video is great yes, um I feel I feel like there is a bit too much work on it but whatever it is the video is great and the song Kwame Yuji on Honey is the best but the video mm, I don't I'm not too sure about that so let's go to this one Oscar is it Adete or Ade whatever so Oscar is saying that it be Davido who spoiled the song Kwame Yuji was oh, great. really. <laughs> really so Davido spoiled the song I don't know oh, really that yeah. one is also there mm-hmm. so now you see. That yeah. I, I was right after all mm-hmm. that uh, there's, a, there's a certain problem with the way the video is delivering mm-hmm. and it's going all the way to affect his brand. Yeah. And he has to start working something out. Otherwise, when he lose the grounds in Ghana, it's going to be worrying. Because some of the other guys are doing some great stuff. Okay. Some of the other guys, some of the other Nigerian artists like uh, uh, Techno and all of those guys are doing great stuff with music. So if he decides to stay thirty billion, start decide to stay in banana fall on you, okay. uh, the sun drop on you, and all those things, then Ghanaians will choose not to download his songs again. But I th- I think whatever it is, I mean he's gonna pick it up. He should. He should. I there's, mean there's I mean no we time. we still love you. We still love that video, but we just need him to be that the old that video he used to be, the one that we we could vibe with him, you know. Yeah. Exactly. We, 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 I think the video is is good. I think I just think the video is good. He has you that. know or you think? No, I know the okay. video. It's the video is very good. You see, he he's he's one guy who hasn't felt the other side of it too okay. much. Where he had to struggle so strive, struggle so hard to make it because I learned, and it is confirmed that his father used to be. A very 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 renowned, renowned person, person. With, you know lots of resource and cash and stuff like that to push invest into his career so he hasn't seen that side so it's like the team we are the day he's been pumped so he has that, that yeah he has that you know okay like i don't know how to say like that 
palm is that kind of nature. nature. So you, see, you feel that he feels like a king, so he loves to have a lot of fun. So you see, he jokes a lot around with these things, but you realize that whiskey came from Ojua Leba, you know, difficulties and yeah. all those things, and ash, you know, that tough life. And he's got in here, so you realize he is very focused, even though for some reason. The video songs are, are very big. You see, what difference between Whiskey and the video? The video has a lot, a lot of hit songs. Okay. Whiskey only have very few, but a few matter. <laughs> you understand? So before Whiskey's song will come out, then it's a song that he knows can make some impact. But the video, it doesn't matter when it comes out. It will hit. It will hit. You see the difference. That's why the video is getting it. But Whiskey makes sure his connect, his brands, his videos, his everything has to reach a certain level and he has a certain audience and a certain target to reach. So the video has the numbers and he makes the hit. And the videos if and for has been one that has been tagged as an African platinum. Oh really? Yeah, it's an wow. African platinum. If it's an African platinum, because it was Sony Records. That distributed it, it, it. Okay. So it's one of the biggest jumps in the country. So the video songs are big from Skelewu and all of those songs. You know, Aye and all. They are very big. So I think you shouldn't be too carried away. You shouldn't be too complacent. But um, let's let's go back. Let me push you back again. So let's go back where um Kwame Ochebe, um was it Ochebe Kwame? Or? Yeah, Kwame. The one who said um Kitty and Kwame usually are better singer than Westkid. They, they are all better singers than. But I'm coming. Do you do you also believe that same thing see, that Kwame see, Eugene and then Kiri are better singers than? Kim Promise, Kiri, Kwame Eugene, Kel songs, Curtis Yadi. See. Hey, Curtis Yadi, the one from Nanka, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, see, I know, right? They are very great singers, you know. But you know, this the this Nigerians have a certain thing about them. You see. Even if their talent is raw, they will make sure they go the extra mile to develop it in a certain way that if you hear them, you think they are the real deal. Okay. But they ain't. Now, equipment, music right now includes equipment, sound, mixing, mastering, you know, all those things. But the kind of equipment that we skate. And Kitty, uh, what's the name of uh, and, Whiskey uh, and the video are going to put into their songs to get it out, Master Kwang Yujin Kitty may not get. So you see that the vocal, the vocal delivery, the voices, you see that the Ghanaian voices are sweet, but yeah. the end the song, hey, if it's very quality and strong, but we are matching up very. Give us some few time. We'll catch up. Okay. And when we catch up, we may have to overcome. Because eh, about some twenty to thirty years ago, Nigerians didn't have songs which we, which could even enter Ghana. Okay. And some of the songs of Nigerians which could make Ghana were gospel songs. You understand? So you remember songs like Sonia Adi, Sonia Okubo, they play. The, do you know those, they are Nigerian drums and all this, like the Ada and that feel, mm -hmm. which was authentic Nigerian, could have entered Ghana. But not a song those days, like maybe a, 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 a song like J. Martin's Eva. It wouldn't, because we used to have artists at a certain level that Nigerians couldn't match up. Exactly. So that, that, that I feel time is coming. Things would change because now they themselves are realizing that Kidi, Kwame Eugene are threats. Kim Promise, Mugis, all those guys have done a lot. You know, you know, talking of Mugis, Mugis is a secular person. Like he's good in everywhere you put him. That guy, I don't know, he's just a genuine person. Like and, and, he's and, great. And that is that is the kind of things Nigerians don't have. Yeah. Now Nigerians don't have a Mugis, but Ghanaians have a Mr. Easy. Ghanaians have a Davido. Ghanaians have a, a, a whiskey, but Nigerians can't get a, 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 a Mugis. Okay. Do you understand? Exactly. And it is Mugis, Mugis Ghanaian, and we, you can never compare. Okay. So now, 
Nigerians have taken bogies to be the S and then you still got it too. So, he is one of a kind, eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, moving on, moving on, yeah. So, um, b uh, with this uh, major, major song, okay, mm -hmm. should we say that um, what you put in the music counts a lot? Because if you write whack lyrics, um, people are not going to embrace it. So, basically, what you put in the music really counts a lot. That is what happened when Patapa put in to win the song of the, of the, the year. popular song of the year. Now, imagine they do use the word popular. Imagine they didn't use the word popular. Mm -hmm. You are the host. I'm throwing a question to you. I can't question you on your show, but okay. imagine they didn't use the word popular, popular song. Would the best one corner be song of the year? So if they don't use the word popular, then it means his song wouldn't be popular yeah. song of the year. Yeah. No, I'm coming. But what made it popular is because the word popular means a song that everybody knows. Everybody knows. And everybody knows one kind of song. That's Even though people don't really that like the song, but, but people question, still know it. The question is, that's this 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 Davido Kiddy uh, this Davido Kwame Eugene song is answering the, the, the one corner issue. Yeah. Now, listen to this. We are getting too fed up with the video <laughs> because he's giving us all those whack lyrics, a uh, banana fall on you, Valerie and Gucci all those things and it becoming too much in his like it becoming central in his songs right and then because he's doing it consistently we are getting fed up yeah and now we have to complain because he sports a collaboration that he was supposed to do with Kwame Eugene to give him the biggest opportunity to be out there okay you understand if we knew Patapa to be a good singer three years before one corner and they came to do we do it do it they would have started accusing that what kind of a song is this guy bringing out yeah so now people will question it like they've questioned this song and then maybe the progress the song would have made it should have been what it would have sank yes you see so this is how we you see and i love the song that one fancy got them fancy got them so total uh, cheat total cheat yeah, totally cheap. Yes, 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 man. You know, song, I love that song. It's been, it's been in existence, like lyrical wise, the song was great. And it stayed for almost two years. And it was very, very relevant. Sure. And one point only stayed for three months. And it was gone. So now, what, what is it that we are talking about? Look at Tic Tac and Kwame Eugene. I wish you had that song you played. Tic Tac and Kwame Eugene, Kwame, 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 Kwame. Beautiful stuff, beautiful, very beautiful stuff. Okay. Now, Kwame Eugene and Davido, boring. So, what kind of, what kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? What kind of things should we be, should expecting, we be expecting from from the video again, rather than these things? Okay. All right. So exactly. Of course, this is still Vibe on EP Radio, and we're vibing every Saturday. And of course, I'm here with Mystic, the Romantic Rasta. So wherever you pick up the signal, and when I mean, if you're watching this right here, we are still vibing. And don't forget, we're talking about Kwame Eugene and then Davido's collaborating song. Well, for some reason, social media is saying that it's a work song of the year. Should I say of the year? <laughs> so moving on to our next story. I mean, we're moving on to our next story, Mystic. So, um, basically, marriage certificate of giant's wife and alleged husband has been pop up. Can you imagine? I mean, this, this story has been trending on social media for a very long time now. And then, whilst we think it was going to end for some reason, the marriage certificate of giant's wife and alleged husband has popped up. So, there is a, I mean, a discuss over the marriage of Black Star Captain Asamoah Giant, which has been in the news and the public domain for some time now. So, Giant has sought a divorce from his wife, Gipsy Giant, whom he married over the past three years and had also asked that DNA tests be run to, I mean, to determine the father of, of his three children. Exactly. So, basically, um, Gipsy is reported to have said, I mean, to have said that she is unhappy about the DNA, I mean, controversy will become i mean because um it's an insult to her kids fully welcome the decision because of its fertility according to m gipsy so um ever since the news of the divorce was announced it is understood that 
the all-time Ghanaian, I mean, Ghana girls call, I mean, soccer grew cold towards Kitty as the businesswoman by name Nina Atala came into the Black Star Keeper's life. So, um, for some reason, it is reported that John grew cold towards um, Kitty after realizing that she was already married to another man. That is an alleged. So, basically, um, to clarify the claims, there is a marriage certificate that signif I mean, signifies that Gipsy was truly married to another guy in Okorahem. So, so, according to the marriage certificate, Gipsy, who is known as Sandra Gipsy, got married to um, her alleged husband, Eugene Odate, Odame M. Enchi, on the 26th February 2002 at Tema Municipal Assembly. How did this happen? I mean, if you're getting married, hey, don't you do all this research? Anything can, can pop up on social media. Okay. So, some of these things until <coughs> a legal court of, uh, uh, you know, a, little, a legal court in its own jurisdiction okay. passes some of these things to be uh, uh, maybe evidence and then prove it okay. at uh, 1 being 40. None of us can determine all of these things. Sure, then, exactly. You know, if they are not willing to go to court, then the two sides must come out either towards uh, confirm the issue or deny the matter. If there is denial, then we don't have anything to talk about. But if there's a confirmation by someone that, yes, indeed, I'm married, now the question is, did the person divorce? Divorced? That is the question. Did she divorce before marrying to ask someone? That's, right? that you can't tell mm -hmm. if indeed she married someone before marrying at someone because anything can pop up on social media there have been cases where people take people's faces put it on, put people's, it on people's faces, faces. and then by the time you realize you think it is this person who is standing there but i mean people could do everything anything. anything can be done on social media mm -hmm. there are there are softwares and applications that you can use to do any kind of design you wish to do it doesn't matter how the damage is going to cause to people who are affected by it social media is for likes and comments and shares yeah, exactly yeah traffic so the but, but it's wrong it's <laughs> wrong if something is not true why do you publish it you know, it's, it's really wrong i said for likes comments and traffic it's up to the people involved the parties involved to prove the media wrong now if the damage is being caused then you can sue the source of let's look at it from a very holistic view okay you are, if you look at it from yes indeed a lady married before this then you are not the ones to prove that to prove that do you understand if we start proving that and tomorrow our voice is captured somewhere we will go and we will and be called in the witness box and say where did you what did hear, you hear what that do you have to show exactly. that what you said you may you you knew you, it you, you you have evidence exactly because you you would conclude and say that she was married but she wasn't maybe it was a fake paper or so so, so for all we care that marriage certificates could be fake it, can it could be, be fake. fake it could be fake it or can not be fake. so but my problem here is okay more often than not yeah we see a lot of footballers i don't for some reason it's just the footballers that we hear a lot of issues about them it's so lots of celebrities celebrities but i'm talking about the footballers it's uh -huh. becoming rampant here right now we feel like i feel like for some reason it's always them doing dna i mean we have the likes of odati lamte we have the likes mm -hmm. of others who are doing the, to to claim the, their the children issue, i mean the issue is footballers don't have time but should that be the case footballers don't have time see footballers travel more than any other game mm -hmm. in the world because they will play this tournament here, they will go here and play this tournament, move here and play this tournament, and move here and play this. So at every point in time, someone will feel lonely. And there is even a point in football where the men, especially when they are going for certain tournaments or certain games, mm -hmm. you don't have to be with the woman for about a week or two or even three weeks before the prayer. So they will camp you guys somewhere where women can have access to you. So all these things bring loneliness. And you know women don't like to be lonely. Really? Is it not just men? I mean, I feel like women can be can be there for as much as they want than men. But women don't like loneliness. 
So they might they either should have a teddy bear now or there is... have a, a television okay or have something but if those things also are not available then they will need company as in what as in a coffee by is as a as in um, a sex partner or a sex toy no a comp like i mean a company could be anything it can be a male friend or a female friend now if it's a female friend well you may not know what might happen but that's <laughs> exactly friendship but if it's a male friend and she he, he can convince her because women just want those little convictions that's not true no most of the time you just have to prove something extra that little things you can do to make her convinced if you're able to convince the woman anything can happen can happen so the issue is if the men who really own these women illegally with documents certificate to prove are not available and then men who just come in at oh my friend my friend my friend are doing the jobs of the men who are away who are away then what happens so then something happens though and now is it even true that as uh, the dna proved that as a margin, the kids were not his no it's not yet proven but my point is all the time footballers are doing dna to show that or to know because whether they, they father a child or they are the they father of the children the way their work is but should you should and, you should you wait for it's uh, two things. a long time giving back to all the kids missing giving back to all the kids for some time before you doing the DNA? Does it I feel it? like I feel like as, you see, as that is when the, you you're hurting the children. One. That is when the problem comes in because he doesn't even have the time very often. Okay. You see, most of these guys who bring who who get these issues are people who are their peak. The, Pick up their careers and then their careers are almost over. Mm -hmm. At that time, their playing time become less, and they just begin to get the the time to start following, pursuing some of these things. Exactly. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But if they had more time with family and least time playing, like they would have known if these things have been happening or not or not and sometimes people also talk yeah i mean we should we should i'm learn. hearing that i'm hearing that his elder brother has a role to play in all of this but i can't prove so i'm not going to yeah mention him well, well i, I while well, um according to report the other brother seized the passwords of gipsy to well, avoid he him from one, traveling you know he was the one who is seriously pursuing the matter mm -hmm. in the absence of his junior brother because his junior brother don't even have time. How often does he stay? He doesn't stay. Exactly. He's traveled across the world. He's, he's one of the most traveled Canadian players. But he's played in Italy. He's played in England. He's played in UAE. He's played in China. He's played in Saudi Arabia. He's played in a lot, a of, lot of countries. And so he knows people. But this alleged girlfriend of his who is um, called... Um, let me, let me see if, if I, can, I can see the girl's name again. So basically, people are thinking she's also the cause of the problem because the guy wants to leave you we, for... We, we don't need this thing. We don't need this thing. We don't need them, but uh, sometimes some women too are dangerous. Okay. <laughs> sometimes some women are dangerous. They can do it sometimes. They do it. Okay, so on that note, let's go for um, a musical break. And when we come back, because we will talk... We will talk... Time. Basically, we'll come back. <laughs> so when we come back, we talk more about um, 2019 or election where music artists are also joining politics. So for now, we're going for a quick musical break. When we come back, we still vibe. So this is my time watcher coming from baby g and of course on that note i hope you enjoyed the song coming from the background i love the song
So wherever you pick in the signal, this is still Vibe on EP Radio, and you know how we do it every Saturday. We keep vibing. We are always here because of you to make your Saturday absolutely very better. So it's just get better whilst you keep tuning on to Vibe on EP Radio. And of course, you can also catch us live on EP Radio, Urban Ra- I mean EP Urban Radio on Facebook, also on Twitter as EP Radio, and then EP Radio on I mean Instagram. Because we are worldwide world as ep-radio.com. EP Radio, the new phase of online radio. And guess what? We are here to stay, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yes, yes. My name is Shual, and you know how we do it. I love Saturdays, you know, because I'm here with you, and with that, you the show as nothing. So, of course, keep your comments coming through. Let's keep interacting, let's connect, and let's vibe. Okay, so we vibe and we the vibe, and of course, I'm here with Mystic Romans, call him the Pain Pain Police. Hey, what's up? Okay, so my name is Joel. And of course, I'm here to give you all the gossip. You can call me the Coconso Girl. Of course, I love that name. Because I am ha- I mean, I have a sleeve on my hand and a mouth I can control. Yes, yes. I give you all the G's on Vibe on EP Radio every Saturday. And moving on to our next story. So guess which musician is joining the, I mean, the rank of politics? So guess what, Mystic? The, I mean, the musician joining the rank of politics. Mm. Yeah, for some reason, I mean, music so artists and then... So, um, 2019 Nigeria election, musician Banky W joins politics. So, Banky W, known as um, Banky W, has finally joined politics. Banky W announced that he will be running for the position of House of Representative in the 2019 general election in Nigeria. So, he made this known on Saturday night on his Instagram page when he was declared the flag bearer of the modern Democratic Party, MDP, for anti ose federal House of Representatives. So on why he chose to, con- I mean, to contest, Banky W wrote, they say we don't, and I'm going to quote, they say we don't have the, um, the money to run. We say our strength lies in our numbers. They said we don't have the structure. We say we will attempt to build it. They said, what if you lose? And I say, what if I win? And I quote again, you see, my entire life has been a story of just dreaming dreams, praying about those dreams, setting goals, and working until the, I mean, they come true. I can live with trying and failing, but I cannot live with not trying. So this is coming from Banky W. I'm going to play a short video coming from, I mean, to get more about this issue. So on that note, let's take a listen. And actor Olu Bankle Wellington, popularly known as Banky W, has finally joined politics. Banky W announced that he will be running for the position of House of Representatives in the 2019 general election. He made this known on Saturday night on his Instagram page when he was declared the flag bearer of the modern Democratic Party MDP for ETIOSA Federal House of Representatives. On why he chose to contest Banky W wrote, they said we don't have the money to run. We say our strength lies in our numbers. They said we don't have the structure, we say we will attempt to build it. They said, what if you lose? I say, what if we win? You see, my entire life has been a story of just dreaming dreams, praying about those dreams, setting goals, and working until they come true. I live with trying and failing. 
I cannot live with not trying. So while we may not have a godfather, we do have God. And we have vision, and intellectual capacity, and integrity, and the right intentions, and last but not least, a whole lot of hope. At the end of the day, hope may be all we have, but I believe that it is all we need. Thank you and God bless Nigeria. Okay, so this is coming from, um, this is what was on um, Banky W's Instagram page, and then he says, the city don't have the man, but we have the structure. So for some reason, um, mystic, for some reason, I don't know, um, I feel like most musicians and then actresses and uh, um, actors are joining politics. Like the likes of Basket Mouth, who announced some years ago that he was joining politics. And then the likes of Inoche, that's the actor of um, Nollywood actor, Inoche. And then also, in, ver in our own very Ghanaian here, we have um, John Dumelu. We have um, Nana Mama Brown didn't mention the same thing, that she will be joining politics very soon. I mean, for some reason, I feel like all these people want to join politics. What is coming on? I mean, it's age and irrelevant. Because sometimes when you are growing and uh, you've, you've done some stuff, like uh, I remember Ampidu, Mami Dokuno, all those people once joined politics, uh, even though they didn't go through it to a certain yeah. level, they. Even though they didn't go through it to a certain level, it's uh, you could see that uh, they 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 got the the passion for it at a point when they realized that no, we've seen it all in this uh, music and acting and everything. Yeah. What else is the next want? challenge? So even if we are still in music, it, we 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 will not get anything more from it. So let's try something that we can get something and then we can make changes with authority and uh and that that uh power okay because people want the power and authority to make their change if you're a singer you can only change people your your song can reach and have control over but if you're a politician hey the microphone is with you you hold the mic what you say is what the media will pick there is no politician who will talk and then the media will not pick on it. That's power. Yeah. So I think Banky W is just doing the same old things that he's just doing all the same old things that everybody does, which is I've I've crossed my peak. And I want to try something yes, different. I've, 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 I'm in a new, you know, level of my life. Maybe I'm 35. I'm 40. I have to get something that can make the road change with power. With power. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And then with 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 control with with uh, confidence and with the abilities you know and then there is something we call the the, the chain of command yeah you, you you know that you are in a certain level of your life and you know your control and command isn't too big and influential over people get there like now if Zeneta decides to rally people she can if uh, someone like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Ras Mubarak, who used to be a radio presenter, like decide to join, um, decides he's a, he's a, a, an MP now. Wow. If he yeah, if he decides to rally people, someone like Suhini, he who used to be a radio presenter himself, decides to rally people, then you know that yes, indeed, they are they are, they, are, they have the voice to talk. Okay. But if uh, someone like me. I go and I say I'm going to do something somewhere. I want people, apart from those who know me on social media and all this, nobody come. But if the police, the, the media will talk we'll about, talk about it. They will pull people there and then they will want people to come and. But but the funny thing is, in Ghana here, if you are a music artist or if you are an actress or an actor and you involve yourself into politics, it becomes either your um, brand redrop, yeah, or a race build for um, the sake of um. Mama Dokun, who says politics now, really scares her now. Yeah. Because he, she received, according to her, she received insults and what yeah. have you on her brand. You and see, if, even if she, she didn't even get movie roles anymore. You need to, you need to be smart yeah. about it. Like that, Lumba. Do you understand? Like that, Lumba. You need to make sure that that politics you're involving yourself, hmm? mm -hmm. if it doesn't work, you have a strong fan base to, who to like you on. for you. Yeah. And then people can't do away with you. So that Lumba tried, you know, for Nanado and everything, he made the money from them. 
Then he came back to release <coughs> me to you know, And I in the same sense, he did Nana ye winna he did say Nana woo nana wa after Nana lost lost the election. And then you realize that he tries to hit on this and hit on that and then stay balanced. And then he would just be chopping. Be chopping. But but I feel like that that in Lumber style is a bit different comparing to Mame Dokuno and then Mr. Beautiful. Because Mr. Beautiful was really involved. And at a, at a point in time, it cost him his movie role. Because we don't see much of him in the movies And again. I'm saying that he wasn't even big. Mr. Beautiful was a bit. He wasn't that big like Lewe in the movie roles that he was playing. And people didn't even like him much. Okay. He wasn't people's favorite actor. So it means joining the policies was just a wrong move. He it was, was a not wrong move supposed to. One, you are not people's favorite actor. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you don't get the best roles. So when you leave, someone can play your role and exactly. even play it better. So when you leave and then your politics is going to affect my, my movie and casting, I'm not going to play, I'm, going, I'm not going to use you in my movies. But someone like... Uh, uh, what's the name? Kojun uh, Kansa Lewin. He was loved by many. It yeah. doesn't matter whether the person was Andy's or FBP or whatever. If he decides that he's going to campaign for Andy's, there is going to be a, give, a big gap, a big hole he will leave in the movie industry. Exactly. So when he goes and he doesn't work, and then he decides to come back, they are going to grab him because nobody can do what Kojun Kansa Lewin can do. You get what I mean? No, and he has his music too. So if it doesn't work, he can decide to use music. To rely on the music. And already he's built a certain strong fan base and made money. And he's invested into businesses like schools and yeah. all of those things. So when politics don't work for him, he will come back to his investment. How many people have investment from acting and these things that they do? Some don't have. But they will try to go into politics thinking it's going to work. If your exactly. party win. It's good for you. But if your party loses, that is it. You feel it. Okay. <laughs> so, of course, we are but vibing. W, let me we, end with I'm coming, Mystic. I'll come to you. So, we are vibing, and if we're we'll picking the signal, and then if you're watching us live on Facebook, this is Vibe on EP Radio. And of course, you can also call us by WhatsApp or. Um, our, our call so you can call us on um plus two three three zero three zero three nine three forty eighty that is our call number and then on our whatsapp number you can call us on zero two seven nine six five nine zero nine eight and don't forget to add a plus two three three when you're outside Ghana. so mystic was making a point yeah, what I was it to end up with I, I wanted to end it up by saying mm -hmm. Banky w has a very big reputation okay Be because even before he got into music there were other things that he, he was, was doing, doing. But so basically he's not just a musician he's he, also an yes, actor he is he is he's not just a musician or actor or what the showbiz kind of guy yeah he was a world developed business guy okay before he came into the music so he has the structures laid down and you okay. know exactly what his ambitions are Where? and what he want to achieve. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it very easy. And you should join the right party too. Because even if your party don't win and you win as an individual, as an individual. it's good for you. Okay. Like Kras Mubarak, he tried, 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 his party didn't win, but he has he won. won. But if your party don't win and you also don't win, that's where people will get you <laughs> okay so if your party don't win and you don't win you know how you're doing as you backsliding and that's how people will get you so of course thank mystic so much for passing through and we are really grateful for coming through yes so this is still vibe on ep radio and of course the f and business award is still going on voting is still going on so to vote for ep radio keep voting on star seven star 173 hash and then follow the rest of the um instruction so keep voting let the voting comes vote 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 for ep radio and of course we're vibing To keep you, I mean, EP Radio Connect, keep voting because your votes always count. So if you love EP Radio, keep voting for us. 
the FN Business Awards celebrating Ghanaian business in Ghana. Yes, 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 in Ghana. And how as you? Oh, how are you? <laughs> yes, yes. We are live on Facebook as EP Urban Radio, on Twitter as EP Radio, on Instagram as EP Radio. And of course, we are worldwide world as www.ep-radio.com. My name is Shawal, and of course, you can call me the Kokon Sagel. I love that, yeah? Okay, so that's the jealous type coming from Bless Cho Cho. I hope I pronounce the name well. Okay, so Cho Cho means you, yeah? So I hope you're enjoying the song. And of course, don't forget to vote for EP Radio as the best online radio. Yes, yes. EP Urban Radio. And of course, big up to my producer, Yusuf Dalal. The only sexy producer ever. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is coming from Block G, and he calls it hotter than them. So big ups to Hotters Done Dem. That is Block G. So Foss will overtake you. I'm loving this vibe already. Big ups, big ups to my producer, Yusuf Dalal. And of course, executive producer, Prince Emiko. Prince. And always don't forget to do this a love story no one understands. Accept those who pray. So how well do you pray? Do you pray five times a day or do you go to church every day? So how is your religious life? My Easter is mine. Yes, 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 we are still vibing. And of course, before I leave, I'm going to leave you with a song coming from Kwame Eugene Wahala. So don't forget to enjoy that song, yeah? And yo, yo to Miss K. Of course, and happy birthday to all the November Bonds. Of course, November Bonds rock, rock, rock. We the rock. Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing? Yes, yes. So it's all what it is. <laughs> 